Hi, my name is uh, Dave Thomas. My talk at uh, Go to Amsterdam is called One Rule to Rule Them All, which is totally a misnomer because I'm not really talking about a rule at all. What I'm talking about is how to think differently about software development and why. And the story starts back in the 1990s. Um, if you weren't living through that or if you weren't coding through that, then you probably don't realize just what a disaster the 1990s were. Um, most software projects failed. And the ones that succeeded were pretty much uh, unusable after a short length of time. We didn't know how to write software. And we were desperately trying to find ways. There were many techniques that people used, something called the waterfall model, which in its original form was actually very, very good, but had been corrupted into this idea that you first find some requirements and then you sign off on those, and then you do architecture and then design and then low level design and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Never worked. By the time a team developed the project, it was out of date. But it wasn't just waterfall. There were lots of different ways of doing it. Many people had these big frameworks in place to help you write software. But clearly, the thing that wasn't being taken account of was the fact that people don't really know what they want. And even if they do know what they want, that need changes over time. So we came up with the Agile Manifesto in the beginning of the 2000s as a way of looking into that, of a way to try to fix that. Um, the idea there was that we'd have uh, very short time periods where we would do something and then we'd get feedback. And that feedback would guide us. That feedback would help us. The problem was always change. The problem was that we needed to be able to deal with the, the idea that our understanding was incorrect, our tools were wrong, and our, our customers quite often didn't know what they wanted. And in the past, all of the tools that we had leading up to that were not focused on being able to change your software, they were focused on being correct. And really, the idea of being correct is irrelevant because if you don't know what you want, what does correct mean? It's far more important that you can change your software. Now, in software, we have many, many design techniques, things like don't repeat yourself, things like dependency injection, all of the solid principles, all of these kind of things that we learn as ways of designing software. But if you look at all of those, what they really are is examples of how to make things easy to change. The idea of dry is that when you have to make a change, there's one place to make it. All the rest of them follow that kind of pattern. We're looking at making our software easy to change. At the same time, um, when agility came along, the idea of the short iterations, again, helps us make software easier to change. But that's been corrupted, and people have forgotten that, and instead are adopting these uh, very rigid ways of writing software and then calling it agile. So a while back, I gave a talk called Agile is Dead, and in it, I tried to distill what I think the essence of agility is. And there were basically two parts to it. The first part was how you, how you do something. And that is, you work out where you are, you work out where you want to be next, and you take a short step in that direction. And then you evaluate where you are. Did you go in the right way, the wrong way? And then you go back to the beginning and do it again. And if you apply that recursively to everything you do, you'll find you actually make some pretty good progress. But there's always a question of choice. How do you make choices between doing something this way or that way? So the second part of my rule was, given the choice between two things that deliver equal value, choose the one that's easier to change. Because then you can always go back and do it a different way. If you choose the hard way, it makes it harder to change, obviously. The thing then becomes, well, how do I know which is easier to change? It sounds very easy on paper. Oh, just choose one that's easy to change. But how do you know that? Now, some things are obvious. Some things you just know instinctively. But there are other things you don't. How do you know? And I think it comes down to something magical called intuition. We like to think that what we're doing is like a science and that what we're doing is, is, is deterministic. But it's not. How many times have you been sweating over a software problem? You go home, you wake up the next morning knowing what the solution is. And the reason that works is that most of your brain is not conscious. It's not accessible to you. And 
the important parts of your brain are the parts that have learned patterns in the past and then can apply those patterns to what you do. It's the part of your brain that lets you walk without having to think about every single muscle you need to move or catch a ball without doing differential equations in your head. And we can train that part of our brain to help us make the software decisions as well. And the thing that works for me, and it may not work for you, is really simple. When it comes time to make a decision, I jot down on a piece of paper what the decision is, what my options are, and which one I chose. And literally, I make myself write it, handwrite it with a pen on paper, because that way I'm involving more of my brain in the process. I then do the thing. And when I finished, I just do a quick summary of did it work or not. And I then take the piece of paper and I put it in a bottom drawer and I forget about it. That's all you have to do. Because what you're doing is you're giving your brain feedback. You're giving your subconscious something to chew on. And if you do that, you will find, and it's almost like amazing the way it happens, you'll find over the space of a couple of months, you actually get better at making those decisions. Which one of these is easier? Because your brain will have learned patterns in what you're doing, and it will be able to apply that without you actually even knowing how it's applying it. So, the my one rule to, to rule them all is make it easier to change, and to do that, program your brain to be able to make those judgment calls. And then along the way, make it fun.